Bundy again. You know what that means. That's right. It's time for me to run my fucking mouth some more. That's right. And you might be saying to yourself, Game Junkie, you're already smoking a cigarette? Usually you like the... Ooh, I drooled a little bit. You usually say, yeah, well, usually they like one like halfway through your ramble. What what the fuck is going on? Well, you know, you might be, oh, you, oh wait, you're stressed out? Yeah, yeah, I am actually pretty stressed out. I'm going to tell you what. You might have noticed the topic of today's video is uh, wow versus everything. Wow versus everything. Because I wanted to touch on the topic a little bit. And I want to put to put to rest some of the gripes and... Uh, the rest some of the gripes and conflicts that, that roam rampart around YouTube and uh, the internet. My voice is a little raspy right now. I'm getting a little sick. But yeah, and this video actually came about, I wanted to do a uh, comparison video um, for quite some time and just dispel the rumors that, you know, there is such a thing as a wild killer because there's... The intelligent community knows, which are the people that watch Game Junkie XL, because um, all you guys are just super fucking intelligent. I love you guys to death. Um, as all you guys know, there is no such thing as a game killer. Okay, there, it, 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 just, it does not exist. EQ is still around. Okay, it still has a strong community. EQOA, which was on PS2, there are games that came out like years and years later that run on servers that shut down their servers don't exist anymore Capcom shut down the Monster Hunter server for Christ's sakes okay EQOA still fucking pumping yeah they might have cut down the servers from 6 to 2 but those two servers are bumping alright there are still tons of people on EQOA and if you used to play EQOA and you missed the game but you didn't want to go back because you're like, well, probably either the servers are shut down or nobody plays that shit anymore. Go back. Because I'm telling you, there are tons of people on this game still. And they are super dedicated. That is what a community on a game is. A community is something that just bands together and they love the game to death. And they say, you know what, we're not going to quit this game for nothing. Nothing. So you might be saying to yourself, okay, well, what's this WoW versus everything? Well... I find it kind of stupid, and maybe I'm the only one, I don't know, but everywhere you look around YouTube, you see WoW vs. this, WoW vs. that, WoW vs. this, WoW vs. that, I've seen WoW vs. Guild Wars 2, you know, everybody knows I'm highly anticipating Guild Wars 2, that's gonna be my WoW, that's gonna be my game, <coughs> excuse me. Now, <laughs> the thing about all of this is, is, okay, I did play World of Warcraft, so all the people... You know, they come in here expecting me to troll World of Warcraft. I'm not going to do it because I'm not a troll, alright? I'm not going to say, okay, I'm, I might hate World of Warcraft, but I used to play it. I played it for quite a bit of time. I invested, you know, over a thousand hours into it easily. I mean, I invested time and time and time and time into that game. I would come home from work some days, you know, and 20 minutes after I walk in the door, I'm on World of Warcraft. And I'd be on that shit until 4 or 5 in the afternoon when I would go to bed, you know, after a shower, of course, because I'm not a dirty piece of shit. But um, after, you know, I would take a shower and everything, I would uh, go to bed so I could go to work at 10 o'clock at night. You know, and that's less than freaking, you might as well say, three to four hours of sleep a day. And then I would come home in the morning, you think, after working a nine-hour night, or, you know, I'd be exhausted and physically drained. I'd be like, oh, I just want to go to sleep. But no, man, I would do the same fucking thing day in and day out. That's how addicted I was to World of Warcraft at the time. I only quit when World of Warcraft went. Now, this is where a lot of people are going to probably start trolling and flaming me. And I'm going to say right now, I don't hold any hate for you guys, okay? You furiously addicted WoW players. I respect the intellectual, mature, and good community of World of Warcraft. And we're going to touch on the other part here in a second. But, okay. Um, when World of Warcraft went easy mode, and any hardcore World of Warcraft player understands what I'm talking about. If you played World of Warcraft back in the day, you cannot even compare it to what it is today, okay? World of Warcraft got easy mode. And you might say, well, oh, when Cataclysm came out, you know, they upped the, uh, the everything. It was a lot harder now. Okay, yeah. But people griped about it, okay? 
My girlfriend still plays World of Warcraft. She's heavily addicted to World of Warcraft, and I pay for her monthly subscription, okay? I know what goes on in the game. I might not play it, but I still got, you know, insiders, so I, I know what's going on. And, you know, people griped and bitched that it was too hard. Some people, you know, the, uh, the people of World of Warcraft that necessarily aren't mega fans, maybe. I don't know what you would call them, but they're just, oh, it's too fucking hard, and I don't want to play this game anymore. So, but it's like, all right, all right, all right, all right, we'll ease it up by it. That, to me, is bullshit, okay? Plain and utter bullshit. That should never happen. The design of a game should be sound and built enough where you don't have to be lenient towards a certain amount of people just to keep people. You know what I mean? The game should be a whole package in one thing. Yeah, there's balancing issues and stuff, but I digress, okay? You shouldn't have to lower the difficulty level of the entire fucking game. You know, <laughs> it's, it's just not right. And that's one of the reasons that led me to quit World of Warcraft. It's like, it just got too easy for me. Anyway, it's like, well, just go do raiding and do shit like that. Well, yeah, but how many how many of those can you do? In arena and PvP, I'm not really a heavy PvP player. You know? And even if I was, I mean, I can find better PvP somewhere else. And you, uh, No, don't hate on me. Don't hate on me, WoW people, all right? Because I know some of y'all are watching this. I got subscribers that are still hardcore WoW addicts. All right? But what I'm saying is... There is better PvP out there. You just have to look around for it. And when you find it, it's great. All right. Now, I'm not telling you to leave World of Warcraft. If you play World of Warcraft and you love World of Warcraft, that's awesome. You know, keep at it. Keep that community strong. Keep the game pumping. Don't worry about any games coming out that are going to kill fucking World of Warcraft because it's never going to happen. You know what's going to kill World of Warcraft? Blizzard. Blizzard will kill World of Warcraft. That's the only way World of Warcraft is going to die. No matter what anybody tells you, no matter what, you know, any uh, verse series video tells you, nothing, nothing will kill WoW. A lot of people are saying, oh, Guild Wars 2 is going to come out, and, you know, it's going to kill World of Warcraft. And uh, I even hear from my boy X that uh, the Star Wars community, even their game, you know, seems to be like, oh, man, you know, something's going to come along and kill our game. No. No. The game company that controls the servers are the only people that are going to kill your game. Okay? And I don't think Blizzard is really going to... Unless when they bring Titan out, whatever Titan is. If they bring Titan out and Titan is, like, super duper popular, they will probably abandon a small community of WoW players. Because they're not making capital off it. That's one of the reasons why they don't go free to play. You know, they know they can make money off it. They put a lot of money in merchandising and everything like that, so... World of Warcraft is a huge, huge, huge investment of capital. Okay. Now we're going to talk about the main focus of this thing. <coughs> so, when I came back to this site, okay, I looked over some of my older rambles and everything, and uh, I looked particularly to my highest viewed video, which is Guild Wars, Elder Dragons, and such, which is a video I did when I was, uh, I was Windows Movie Maker, the video is horrible quality, I do apologize for that, for any of you who have watched it, um, the voice is really crappy, because I didn't feel that great, I just heard a gunshot, no, but, um, the sound is really crap, uh, crappy because I didn't have a microphone back then. So what I was doing was I was using the bloggy here and I was recording while I was watching the screen and transferring the voice. And it was a fucking disaster. Okay. I might remake the video. I might add to it, do special effects to it. And shot. I don't know. But I know it's out there somewhere. Now, way back in the day, I said, anybody's welcome to post anything negative or positive. I am not going to erase any comments. But I noticed that there was one in particular that was removed for spam. And the name of the account was World of Warcraft Rapes Guild Wars 2. So, instantly I'm like, okay, well I'm going to go and check out this page. And when I did, I was thoroughly disgusted. And I'm going to tell you why. Okay. Now, first of all, if anybody goes and checks out this page, now, I'm not going to link it here because it's obviously it's it's fucking nonsense. It's stupid. It's just a troll, and um, some 26 year old bitch that you know fucking 
wants to get out and run his mouth. He's so chicken shit, he never shows his face in the video. He's only got one upload, and it's just tripe that, you know, Guild Wars 2 copies everything from WoW. Okay, these are the type of WoW players that I absolutely abhor. I hate these people. They are so fucking stupid. And, you know, all the WoW players that are watching this, uh, you know, they love their game, and they're responsible, and, and they're community-esque, and, you know, they, they play it the way they want to play it and everything, and they don't go trolling all over it and everything like that. I love you guys, okay? But these little fucking jerk-offs, all right? First of all, you're lucky you didn't show your face, whoever the fuck you are. Because honestly, if you took five steps out your door, whatever city, town, province, state, whatever you live in, okay, because he's listed as living in Stormwind, whatever. He took five steps out of your door and he said, I will guarantee you somebody will fucking curb stomp your ass right into the fucking ground. Not because you're hating on Guild Wars 2, okay? Don't get me wrong on this. Not because you're hating on Guild Wars 2. It's just because of the way you say things and how you say it. You're fucking disrespectful as hell. You're rude. You're arrogant. You're egotistical. And you're a fucking bigot. You may say, and that's kind of harsh game, Junkie. How can you call this kid a fucking bigot? He's 26 years old. You know, you're almost 35. That's kind of that's kind of rude. Aren't you kind of trolling this kid? No, I'm not fucking trolling this kid because he's a fucking asshole. That's what I'm saying. And it's like these these kind of douchebags that fucking bring everybody down. You know, I'm not going to link anything. I'm just going to link one thing. I'm going to put it up here somewhere. Somewhere up here. Ooh, it's going to magically appear. Basically... I'm just going to put like a little thing of how he ends his video, okay? And I want to take some time here to say that um, for all the people out there that are of the mindset that World of Warcraft invented the MMO genre, that's complete and utter bullshit, okay? Um, I hate to break it to you guys, but they didn't. <laughs> you know, there was games even before EverQuest came along that... Uh, were crafting the MMO genre. You know, World of Warcraft didn't invent dwarfs, they didn't invent gnomes, they didn't invent any of that stuff. It's all, you know, in every genre, copy and paste things. It's mythology. It's, you know, swords and sorcery gameplay is very, it's not limited, it's, it's wide open, but you have a very limited ballpark of races, classes, weapons, things of that nature that you can actually utilize. Um, but yeah, I mean, and truthfully, World of Warcraft isn't even a ground-based, built game. I mean, Blizzard built it off of another project that they were working on. They had no intention of, of jumping into the MMO genre, okay? They were happy with their, you know, Warcraft series and everything. They were like, no, 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 no. They actually started developing for another company. Maybe I'll link that somewhere down in the description so you can actually read about it. Or maybe a video clip will pop up here somewhere. Who knows? Anything can happen around here. Anyway, but yeah, you know, and then you got these trolls that come on here and say that World of Warcraft is like the fucking bomb diggity and it's, uh, you know, the one that created the MMO genre. No, it popularized the MMO genre. Get your facts straight, first of all, okay? EverQuest was way, way, way before World of Warcraft ever thought of coming about, okay? It also is, <laughs> and I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for saying this, but community-wise, it's it's a hell of a lot more stable than World of Warcraft is. And honestly, EverQuest is a lot more community stable than a lot of games are, and that's the scary thing about it. Um, but yeah, but this kid, and I mean, he's a dick. I mean, honestly. If he had shown his face and he lived in New York and I ever saw the kid on the street, I'm serious, even though, you know, I've got two strikes, third strike, I'm out, I'm going to prison. And even, and even you know, even though I got a two-year-old son and a girlfriend who I love indefinitely and everything like that, and, and if I get a third strike, I'm going away forever, you know. But, uh, yeah, because I, I had a bad childhood. But, uh, <laughs> you know, even with that fact, man, I would, I would plow over this kid with a fucking car or some shit. Or, you know, curb stomp or rub his face into the concrete. <laughs> Make a fucking road pizza out of this bitch, you know? Because it just, it angers me. And it's not so much that, you know, he's trolling my game. It, it angers me that he's racist and prejudiced. 
that's the thing that bugs me. I mean, look at what year we're in right now. It's like the major obstacle that we still can't manage to get over. You know, whites hate blacks. Blacks don't necessarily like. They still hate whites. Um, you know, everybody hates everybody. And it's completely ridiculous. I'm of this fashion. It's like, if you play games, I love you to death, you know. And I believe everybody plays games. So, you know, I like everybody. And you can hate me if you want to. You know, it's all right. I still like you if you're a gamer. It's just the way I roll. But, I mean, <laughs> seriously. This kid, you know, he's using the N-word really freely. You can tell he's white because you can see his hands and everything. And, you know, he's just openly using the N-word. And, he, and he's just, you know, fucking, it's, it's fucking crazy. And seriously, I don't know, you know, he disguises his voice and it's really just, uh, it's horrible. It's completely horrible. But yeah, we're not even going to talk about this waste of time anymore. We're just, you know, you can obviously, you, you see the, the, what he's about, you know, throwing the hail sign up, saying wow power, wow power. I mean, yeah, that's really creative, okay? You, you took white power and said wow power. That's fucking great. You, sh you should consider yourself a stand-up citizen. This is the form of generation that, you know, just, uh, you should be ashamed of this fucking kid. Seriously. You know, I'm not the brightest man in the world. I'm not even close to being the brightest man in the world, but fuck, come on. Seriously, this guy has like 30 fucking subscribers or whatever. Or some shit. I don't know. I really wasn't paying attention, to tell you the truth. I might have to go back and look again, but I mean, come on. Seriously? What the fuck? Is the world that fucking messed up? That people support this piece of shit? You know, and it, it's got to end. It's got to stop. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go back on this wow verse everything. So that's basically my point. It's like, you can verse anything you want, you know, but it's all in the mindset of the person. You know, like I said, I'm not into World of Warcraft anymore. I was really heavily at one point, and that was my game. Um, so I don't hold any hate. I hate. I hold hate for Blizzard. I really hold hate for Blizzard because honestly, having a cash shop and a pay per month game, give me a fucking break, Blizzard. How much money do you need? You know? Yeah, and, and you can say the argument. Oh well, yeah, well people are willing to pay for you know non combat pets and fucking mounts and it's okay, whatever. Blizzard's great. No, you should be able to earn that in the game. Okay, you shouldn't have to spend out more hard earned cash. Especially, you know, in this this time and age when we're having problems with money and everything. The fuck? Seriously? Come on. Yeah, I say seriously a lot. Get over it. But, you know, it's like, how dare you have a cash shop in your game? Seriously. You should be able to, you see, I did it again. You should be able to earn that stuff in-game without having to pay for it. That's my viewpoint of it all. Okay? Um, but, yeah, you know, it's like... There, there is no comparison because even if a game comes along that just virtually stomps on another game, like World of Warcraft, um, ease of use and accessibility easily stomped EverQuest. And all the EverQuest players are going to hate me. But honestly, I love EverQuest, okay? I'm not going to even lie. I love EverQuest. I don't play that anymore either, but I fucking love EverQuest. I love the community of EverQuest probably just as much as I love the community of Guild Wars. Um, but you know that's what I'm saying, it's like, it doesn't matter if a game comes along, just, there are still people playing fucking Pac-Man out there, man, for real, you know, I know a guy that hangs out in an arcade, okay, and that's all he does, is pop quarters into Street Fighter 2, that's what he likes to do, he won't play home systems, that's all he wants to do, is play Street Fighter 2, a cabinet machine, and that's cool for him, that's his little world, that's his version, that's why I'm saying gamers unite, you see what I'm talking about now? You understand? Gamers United. A game is a game. What you love, you love. And don't worry about what anybody else is fucking playing. Because honestly, if you're having fun with it, then it's a fun fucking game. Till next time, guys. Peace. Oh, and I want to tell you one more thing. Okay. Um, these rambles are going to be every Monday. So if you guys want me to ramble about something specific, post down in the comments about something you want me to talk about or ramble about or want my viewpoint on, I'll be happy to do it for you. Um, if it's unreasonable and I understand what you're talking about, you know, soap and people don't ask for it because I'm not going to do it. Um, but anything, you know, of, of any other 
something out. You know, I'll, I'll look it over and I'll see what I can do with it. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's been this ramble. It went on a little bit long, but uh, I don't know. So I'll see you in the funny pages, guys. See you next week. Every day I'm shuffling.